Dear friends, this is Lana with Lana's Music Studio and today we will talk about how to choose piano. When you buy a piano, what kind of piano do you want to have in your home and something that you will enjoy for years uh, to play on, something that will fit your room, uh, your budget and uh, your goals. Uh, things that I'm going to tell you today, um, it's my own opinion. Uh, there is a lot of different talks about uh, accepting or not accepting digital pianos or keyboards uh, in learning piano. But I will tell you my opinion today. So uh, let's start. I would say I would divide uh, all of the huge existence of the keyboard instruments that you can choose from uh, what we call piano or keyboard mm, in two versions, uh, two groups. First group is the acoustic pianos. It's pianos that are made in old fashioned way, just like um, they used to make them years and years and centuries before. Uh, it's made out of wood and um, now they have a plastic uh, keys. Um, before it was ivories. Anyways, this is the group of the acoustic pianos that do not need to be plugged into anything. It's just the instrument that we can play anytime. And uh, let me show you, this is my keyboard and uh, my piano right here. And listen how beautiful it sounds. You just heard my song. My, my dog was singing along. He loves music of Chopin and he loves a lot of other music. So piano sounds really gorgeous. Uh, it's made out of uh, big uh, um, and small strings and it hammers striking the strings. So it is the acoustic uh, piano, uh, classic, very beautiful. So those pianos have um, three pedals most of times, sometimes two, sometimes the uh, two or three pedals basically. And they exist in different versions, like the one that you see behind me, it's the baby grand piano. You don't have to have it in home uh, unless you really want to. It's really gorgeous sound. It's more designed for the bigger rooms, uh, but it's also exists in the smaller versions and uh, they called pianino, or um, they can be um, just basically acoustic pianos uh, that could be upright. It could be a um, console piano. But anyways, there are smaller versions of this um, baby grand piano. Uh, and you can enjoy them um, a lot. But problem with those pianos, first of all, they are very heavy. You cannot take them just like... When you're moving, you have to uh, call the team of uh, special piano movers because to move the piano and not damage it, it's really a profession. <laughs> So you need to call professionals and let them do the job. So not anybody can do that. And besides, those pianos need to be tuned. And they need to be tuned uh, about half year, every half year, or sometimes a year, one year will be okay. But really, uh, it all depends on what conditions they are at. They're very sensitive babies. They uh, don't like uh, the airflow too much around them. They don't like uh, when they uh, cha change the climates, uh, like um, too cold or too so, uh, too hot, uh, too humid, too dry. So if it's dry, it needs to have a uh, humidifier and stuff like this. I have tons of flowers here in my studio and they kind of helping to make uh, the air a little bit more um, soft, uh, more humid for the pianos. And it's a lot of care for this instrument. Uh, besides, I would not suggest you to buy the old pianos, really old ones. Um, I would compare those pianos just like comparing to the cars. Let's see if you have the ancient car, like 1920s edition. How much you would run it? Probably just to show on the uh, big show, car show and stuff like this. How much money you'll need to invest into repairing this? 
uh, car. You probably have to replace everything inside. The same thing about the acoustic pianos. With time and um, weather change, the wood will shrink and expand and shrink and expand throughout the years and years and years. And finally, those pegs that hold in the uh, strings, they will get loose. And you start tuning it, it will be terribly out of tune. You tune it again, and then in a week or maybe even a day, it will go back again because those mm, pegs don't hold. So, my opinion is uh, I would get the newer piano, no, at least not 1920s, <laughs> and not those huge upright pianos that sometimes you can see, uh, take it for free or take it for $20. <laughs> they're extremely heavy and they are really not good for playing most of times. Uh, so buy newer pianos. Don't have to be new, absolutely. It can be played by somebody, but you need to really check uh, before buying, call the, um, the tuner. Call the master who can fix it and they can look if this piano has the cracked uh, soundboard or the pegs not holding or pedals are squeaking and not working at all. Who knows? Uh, it's always good to have a consultation of the specialist before buying a piano. And our next talk will be about the digital piano or keyboard. Now let's talk about digital pianos or keyboards. What is the difference? Uh, here I have my digital piano and really um, I think the biggest difference between a keyboard, just keyboard and the digital piano is the framing. This piano is set as just like the regular console piano and a big frame, really nice, beautiful kind of wood. <laughs> and uh, it's not very movable, but keyboards are more movable. Uh, they are portable and you can carry them anywhere you need to go. Um, now I'm gonna tell you something that is my personal opinion about it, about those keyboards. I heard a lot of opinions from uh, music teachers that you cannot really learn real piano on the keyboard and it's very true in certain point because it's very hard to reach the good sound, the really true sound of the piano. You cannot get the deepness of the sound, you cannot feel those keys as much as the regular um, acoustic piano, but um, I would consider it to be um, just a different instrument, different type of instrument. And uh, I don't see any wrong things in starting on the keyboard, but once your fingers will touch the acoustic piano uh, and you hear the real sound of the piano, you will fall in love with it. Uh, and a lot of times my students start on the keyboard, that's just fine, and then once they touch my baby grand piano, uh, they have a dream now to get the real piano. So if you it happened to you and you decided to buy a real piano, acoustic piano, I would not suggest you to just get rid of your keyboard because keyboards are absolutely amazing different instruments. They do have very similar keyboard. They have everything looking the same exactly as an acoustic piano, but they are basically music computers. Uh, what are the benefits of the um, acoustic piano? First of all, um, you don't need tuning. It's tuned forever, once and forever. You don't need to tune it. You don't need to worry about uh, humidity or dryness or change in the climate or the um, open window beside it. It doesn't care. It will still be the same playable instrument. Uh, keyboards uh, that sit in on the little stands that can be folded, um, they are much more movable portable and you can take this to your family event and play something for the family. You can play for the uh, friend's wedding. You can take it to assisted living house and play for old people who will be so happy to hear you uh, and your music and your keyboard. A lot of times they don't have a good pianos there at all. Uh, they're either not tuned or totally out of shape and uh, it's very hard to deal with them. So you can take it and bring it, uh, the keyboard. Um, okay, uh, another good thing is if you live in a small apartment or you um, have roommates or you live in with uh, parents, 
uh, who doesn't like to have loud sounds and loud playing, uh, let's say they're going to bed early and you still need to practice, you can put your headphones and you can play all night long if you, <laughs> if you really need it or if you want it. As loud as you can, you will not bother anyone. Uh, another advantage of the keyboard is it has basically a lot of opportunities to record, to share the files, to install the files, to do your own arranging and uh, all the different wonderful things that uh, keyboard comes with. And I'm going to show it to you just right now what it works. And I'm not going to show you all the features, but uh, just like some of the features of my digital piano. So this is my digital keyboard and uh, it has a piano sound. You can set several piano sounds uh, that imitates the sound of the piano in different condition, like a concert piano or home piano. Uh, stage piano, rock piano, whatever. Um, but generally you can hear that the sound is not the same as a beautiful acoustic piano. It's much harder to control the sound because the keys are not as heavy as on acoustic piano and um, to make the really good deep sound on it is kind of tricky. You need to really work on it a lot and um, but still again for beginning uh, that will be just fine and as a piano it's not as great as the digital I mean as an acoustic piano but as a musical computer, it's absolutely amazing. Well, first of all, you can have change different sounds. So it will sound not just like a piano, but it will sound like harpsichord, for instance. Uh, here is my harpsichord. Or a honky-tonk piano. Here we go. Or it can be sound like vibraphone. Or it can be sound like uh, harpsichord, where is it? Oh, it's a lot of stuff. Celesta, uh, xylophone. Can this sound like an organ? Mm. can be sound like guitar so you can find a lot of really interesting combinations of sounds um, and Besides, it has also a metronome, which is built in. It helps you to keep the beat. Oops. Or you can make it faster. Also, to play with a drummer that is actually um, imitates the better um, beat. Well, let's see if we can find something.
play with a drummer versus just a metronome. And besides, you can um, have the setting where you can have um, all kind of uh, bands, which is really fun to play with. Let's say uh, I would play rumba, rumba, and uh, left hand will control the band, tells the band what chords to play, and the right hand will be playing a melody. Let's do "Twinkle Twinkle Little Star," since nobody knows, everybody knows it. wonderful feature you can record the band separately then you can play um, the full range uh, arranging of the music piece you want to play uh, on a piano you can record uh, several lines you can make the orchestration on it uh, you can save the files you can bring those files from the internet you can send them to internet uh, it's just like it's amazing what nowadays they can do this is a little older um, instrument but uh, still doing a lot and nowadays we ha can have even more um, features so you can do all kind of things with that uh, making a uh, duet with yourself you can set your left hand playing the let's say guitar or harp and right hand playing the uh, flute and that will be beautiful duet of guitar and flute playing for instance a Christmas song like Silent Night or something like that Anyways, this is a great, um, great uh, musical computer. So if you started your music lessons with a keyboard, uh, don't give it away <laughs> when you buy the acoustic piano. It's just a different instrument that has a lot of possibilities. A little great thing. Now let's summarize what we were talking about. Uh, what piano to buy? It depends on your goals and your uh, living conditions and you go you what you want to do with that piano so if you live in apartment or you live uh, with a family that doesn't want you to hear you practicing like late at night and that's only time you have if you don't want to tune your piano uh, that will be a keyboard something much more portable or you can use your um, headphones you don't need to tune it you can have all kind of recordings you can play with a band you can change the sounds you can create a lot of different things so this is keyboard keyboard is for you keyboard or digital piano the only thing that you need to be aware of when you buy digital pianos first of all check every sound every key on your way all the way black and white keys if they work because if somebody uh, selling it to you and saying like oh they're just like couple keys are a little loose kind of sticky it could be that they flip the coffee mug over it and it's not fixable unfortunately there is no as I know no professionals who uh, do the repairs of the keyboards you will have to buy a new one that's it unless you buy something really extremely expensive like Hawaii the last model and um, they probably have some repair people but um, in my city I don't have uh, I have only one person who knows that <laughs> and he's very busy <clears throat> anyways check everything every sound on the keyboard whatever you're doing um, if it sounds also you need to have 88 keys why not shorter because uh, just very soon as soon as you start uh, getting out of the little beginning positions you start playing something bigger and like whoops i cannot make 
I have a beautiful passage up and like, ah, I don't have those keys. Oh, down the beautiful bass in the end, like I don't have it. Mm. That's not fun. So get 88 full keyboard, 88 keys. And those keys needs to be weighted. Uh, so it's imitation of the weight of the real mechanical uh, weight of the piano keys. Uh, and uh, if you have that weighted, then you can make a difference between loud and soft sounds. You can balance up the melody and accompaniment. If it's like a cheapo toy, short with a flash and keys and kind of some teaching uh, thing in here that you kind of uh, learn to like, oh yeah, I don't need the teacher, you just like follow this. You can follow that screen for a little while, but still you cannot learn a lot of uh, tricks and uh, a lot of techniques and everything uh, that your real piano teacher will do for you. Um, will teach you <laughs> real piano playing. Um, so be sure that you really get the high quality keyboard with a weighted keys, 88 keys, uh, not damaged, um, and mm, here you go. If we're talking about the acoustic pianos, you need to buy a new piano. You don't need the old piano. Um, you don't need a piano that was stored somewhere in the garage. Then somebody sells you dirt cheap, and then you spend uh, more money to try to move it and then get get rid of it because it's not tunable. It's absolutely impossible to play um, and you need to have a consultation of the professional which is piano tuner who can see everything inside from the technical point of view if this piano is really good and uh, is playable for many years for you and that's basically it so I would highly recommend you to um, do all those suggestions and think about what kind of piano do you want. I personally have a baby grand piano and I have a uh, digital keyboard because it's two wonderful additions to my studio um, because they um, complete each other and things that I cannot do on the keyboard I can do on my acoustic piano and things I cannot do on the acoustic piano I can do on the keyboard. It's a wonderful tool. Um, that's basically it. If you have any more questions, I will be happy to answer. Please leave me comments on my video uh, with your questions and suggestions. Uh, again, it was my personal opinion. Uh, I know that a lot of music teachers will not agree with me, but I had a really interesting experience with uh, digital pianos. I really love them as much as my acoustic pianos. Please uh, visit my website. It's www.lana-piano.com and on my YouTube channel uh, you can find a lot more teaching videos that might be helpful for you. Thank you.